Welcome back, beautiful Tri-State area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Coming up next in our Trailblazers segment brought to you by Metropolitan Lifestyles right here at iHeart headquarters. We're chatting with the founders of V&Co and how their new hair care line once again entered a market craving disruption. A beauty family founded multi-generational team headed by father-son duo Tom and Mike Redman with a legacy in their hair care industry through beloved brands like Aussie Hair Care and Renpure. They're very clearly serial entrepreneurs and innovators. Mike's journey began interning at Renpure where he fell in love with crafting products from scratch. From working in the warehouse during high school to studying entrepreneurship at the University of St. Thomas, he immersed himself in every aspect of the business. He joined Tom and they embarked on a new venture post Renpure acquisition, recognizing the rise of peptides in skincare. Now, their vision for VNCO extends beyond skincare, aiming to provide a holistic routine rooted in science. They're based in Minnesota, driven by family, and motivated to excel both personally and professionally. They're here to chat family legacy, hair care innovation, and balancing it all. My experts on the microphone, father-son duo, welcoming now to the show are Tom and Mike Redmond. Welcome to the show, superstars. Thanks, Zen. Thanks <laughs> Thank for having you, us. Thank you, That was beautiful. Well done. All really right. Well done. Let's dive right in. I'm so excited to have you here. Congratulations. You know you've made it when you're, you're at iHeart headquarters in Manhattan. It feels like it. Well, Second trip to New York in a couple weeks. feel like we're on the right track. The momentum is brewing. Big shout out to Nancy Berman at Berman Sessa PR. Big shout out. We love you, Nancy. Now, let's jump right in. So the global hair care market was valued at approximately $90 billion. That was back in 2020. So let's jump four years later with projections to reach over $211 billion by the year 2025. Gentlemen, hair care includes, as you know better than I do, shampoos, conditioners, hair colorants, styling products, and hair treatments. But the industry is witnessing a shift towards natural and organic products and an increased demand for personalized hair care solutions and, a, and a pretty much a growing interest in innovative ingredients like peptides, bringing me full circle. So, Tom... Aussie was the first privately held brand to sell to to a strategic. Matrix followed suit to L'Oreal. Can you tell Correct. us about your journey from Aussie to V and Co, and what inspired this transition? Absolutely, Zen. Um, Aussie was a 17 year journey. I started in the warehouse with my father. Um, a, a year later, I went through beauty school because I felt like I didn't understand what was really going on. Um, and at the time, we were selling to salons, so we would have distributor shows every couple of weeks, and the distributor would bring in, you know, a hundred or so salons that he dealt with, and you'd sit behind your table and you'd explain your product to them. Um, and beauty school for me was like a college education in the hair care industry, which has just really helped me throughout the almost forty years of my career. Uh, worked with my father for seventeen years, grew that business from a two hundred fifty thousand dollar first year business to over $100 million in 10 years, which at the time was a very, very large brand. Um, most companies never got that big. Sold that in 1997 to Bristol-Myers Squibb. It's currently owned by P&G. Um, and then when my non-compete was up, I started a company called Renpure. Started that in 2009, ran that to 2018, and was fortunate enough to sell that as well. And in the meantime, had many of my children working for me, including my son, Michael, who I'm in business with today. Um, Non-compete is up for Renpure a year ago last March. And here we are with VNCO. We spent two years in development on this product. Personally, I've learned a lot over 40 years, uh, helped us develop what we have today. But Mike really took the bull by the horns and, and did everything that you see today. That was kind of our deal is... So now well, let's go full circle to Mike and what the deal was. All right, Mike, we're going to bring you in. You ready? Yeah, absolutely. So your father really paved the way here in such a great capacity. I mean, if 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 more father-son duo relationships had what you have, it would be a, you know, path to success. So how has your experience at Renpure influenced your approach to building Vienco Beauty? Well, you know, it it kind of goes back similar to my dad's experience <clears throat> having worked from the foundation and understanding how a company operates from the warehouse to distribution to sales to the retail shelf itself. 
Uh, I want to say I was in ninth or 10th grade when I started working at Renpure. And I was working in the warehouse with two of my other brothers. Uh, and then throughout college, I worked in the warehouses, went on the sales calls with dad and my brothers. And uh, eventually, when I graduated from St. Thomas in 2017, we, well, I was fortunate enough to join in a full capacity. Now, that was a great experience for me because in the year and a half I was there, I saw Renpure transition from a successful brand to a really well-known brand. And I was able to understand what it took from a day-to-day -day operation standpoint as to what it takes to build a you know a great successful company in the hair care space that we've had the experiences with. So when Dad um, you know sold Renpure in 2018, uh, he and I, growing up, I always knew that he and I would work together in some capacity. I, I followed him around my whole life and his other entrepreneurial uh, adventures growing up as a kid, just going to work with Dad. And he and I had always had a great relationship and and loved hanging out and were you know best friends for since I could remember. So he and I knew we wanted to do something together. Now what that was, we weren't sure. We had a lot of experience in hair care and uh, we felt really comfortable that, hey, we could take another stab at this thing if we have the right idea. So we took a lot of time to figure out what that idea is, You know, created a beautiful package, a beautiful system of products, and something that we think is really unique to the hair care space in a clean way, uh, really fun, ingredient-driven brand, which is Vianco. Um, and if, if you got time for the whole story, I can tell you everything about Vianco that you'd like to know. Well, that is a beautiful story. <clears throat> That's a hallmark moment right there. Now, peptides are short chains of amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. And in hair care, peptides provide various benefits, like strengthening hair, promoting growth, and improving elasticity, and of course, enhancing moisture retention. You mentioned uh, noticing a movement in skincare mm -hmm. with peptides. Can you elaborate on why you chose to incorporate peptides into your hair care products? And what we have always paid attention to are other high velocity categories that have a ton of innovation. Now you look at food, you look at skincare, uh, you look at nutrition. Those are all categories that tend to be the first to have trends. And we've always tried to pay attention to that because a lot of what happens in skincare and food, uh, they end up finding their way into the hair care space. You look at ingredients like vitamin C, vitamin E, uh, biotin, all these ingredients that really took off in different categories eventually found their way to hair care. So we started looking around to think, we have this great package, we have this great system of you know, a simplified approach to hair care where you're getting a certain, uh, a certain formula for a certain hair type. Now, how can we bring an ingredient to the table that isn't out there that will really set us apart? And what we noticed in the skincare aisle emerging was peptides. Now, if you walk down that hair care aisle in your Target or your Walmart or any, you know, retailer or grocery store you go to, you'll see a ton of skincare, you know, face, skin, lotion, more specifically in serums that talk about peptides. And we realized the velocity that was getting behind peptides. And, you know, we didn't understand exactly what a peptide was when we started, but we saw the popularity that it had. So we took a step back, did some research to understand, do they work in hair? Right? They're healthy for your skin. They help your skin. They're great nutrition. But how do they work with hair? And what we found is a very similar uh, performance between skin care and hair care, mainly being because the skin on your face is the same hair as the skin on your scalp. Right? It's, it's one and the same, and it performs in a way that it helps to increase blood flow, helps to bring moisture to hair, reduce breakage, increase strength as well. And what we use with the peptides in our formulations is we have a proprietary peptide blend. Now it's a, like you said, is a blend of amino acids that help to penetrate the hair fiber and really bring a healthy function to the hair. And how we use the peptides is equal across all of our formulations. In the sense of if you think of building a house, we use the peptides as a foundation, right? A foundation to create healthy scalp and healthy hair. And what we do on top of that, we've added specific ingredients to each one of these formulas, like Curly uses our jojoba oil, Wavy uses rice protein, Thick uses biotin and coconut oil, and then the straight shampoo and conditioner use aloe juice. So we use the peptides as a base to create a healthy base of hair and scalp health that helps allow these extra added ingredients to bring out those natural aspects of it. your hair. You guys, and that's, you that's guys, what's been really you guys a big benefit for us. You the code. seems like you've cracked the code because I have been using your product for about a month now, and I've seen a tremendous difference in the thickness of my hair, the way that I'm, the way that it's drying, the, the split ends, the shine. It's all there. 
Now, we know consumers are increasingly seeking hair care products. I know I am that deliver tangible results. Like mm -hmm. I want to see something happen Correct. over the course of yep. three to four weeks. And peptide infused products are perceived as more advanced and efficient due to the targeted action on hair at the molecular level. So I love what you guys have going on now, Mike. I'm going to come back to you um, in just a little bit, but I'm going to pivot here um, to your dad. So starting with a shampoo and conditioner seems like a deliberate choice. It's a very small line of products. Can you explain the rationale behind the decision? The reason we did shampoos and conditioners initially, and that's kind of the format that I've always followed, is they're the highest velocity items that you have. And what you're up against in the retail world is that exactly. You've got a minimum that you need to sell to maintain that shelf space. So when you're starting out with a brand new product with absolutely no sales data, for us, the easiest thing to do was to start with shampoos and conditioners. Uh, once we realize what are the top selling items, then it's easy to go back your next year and say, okay, what are some of the secondary items that we might use? Is it a curl cream? You know, is it a straightening spray? Um, all those types of things. But typically, we've always started with a shampoo and a conditioner um, to build our audience and then to really figure out, you know, which one of these products, you know, is going to have the velocity to, to maintain that shelf space and be there next year. It's critical that you started with just enough because I think that's the mistake most brands make. They start with an overwhelming amount of selection and things get diluted and then there's no actual market direction. So this is very strategic and I think that you guys are on point. And with, with advancements in biotechnology and cosmetic science, research have actually identified specific peptides to your point that target hair concerns extremely effectively. So this is not just an, a, you know, a, a really cool looking hair bottle, right? These peptides are formulated into your very hair care products to address all these various needs that, that Mike so eloquently put, and even the damaged hair and the thinning hair and the mm -hmm. aging hair. And to have this in a really cool bottle that looks nice, looks pretty in my bathroom and smells nice, there's, there's, it's a win-win situation. I'm going to go back now to you, Mike. The vision for V and Co Beauty seems to really emphasize a holistic approach, which is what everybody wants: sustainable, holistic. Right? You meet all the check marks. How do you envision expanding the product line to fulfill this vision? Oh, that's a great question. Um, you know, as as long as I've been in the hair care industry, um, we have always taken the approach of cleaner products are better. Right? We've, we've always done the sulfate-free, paraben-free, phthalate-free, dye-free, color-safe products. So that's something that we do today and we will continue to do. Uh, we just think it's such a growing segment of the industry. And most consumers today are incredibly educated. You know, They know ingredients. They know what ingredients work. They know what's good for them, and they know what's bad for them. Um, and, and I'm one of those consumers who pays attention to those ingredients that you know, aren't the best for you. So you know, the way we look at it with V&Co is... We will continue to grow upon or, you know, to expand upon our offering, but we will always bring those greener, cleaner products that are good for you at a really great value. We want to be that brand that when that consumer goes down the aisle or they're shopping online, um, we don't want the barrier of entry to be a massive price point to get a healthy product that's infused with peptides. We want to be that product for the consumer where, if they want to try a peptide-infused product and they want to find a product that's healthy and good for their skin and their scalp, we want to be that for the consumer. So there's no barriers to entry uh, really across all income levels. It's great. And clinically researched and clinically verified are extremely important. I know that you um, you are all about the research and the, ve the development process behind your products. Tom, could you share some insight into the research? Uh, well, you know, the honestly, Zen, the research uh, for me started 40 years ago because 40 years ago we didn't have all these issues with peptides and parabens and sulfates and phthalates and all these things. So it's all, you know, it's kind of been, as Mike was saying, it's kind of just been a, a conscious effort. You know, um, I think we're the typical consumers. We've always looked at products and tried to, you know, you buy the products that you think are best for you. And it's kind of spilled over into what we do as hair care. Um, I mean, the largest segment is still, you know, uh, sulfates and parabens and has all the has all the no, no ingredients in it. So we deal in a much smaller segment, but we feel good about what we do. Uh, we think we're really good at what we do. Um, but but we've typically, um, 
you know, tried to always make greener and greener products as we've gone. And you've done a great job, which brings me to the packaging. Mike, what a fantastic design and the color choices for your products stand out. What was the inspiration behind this aesthetic? Well, the inspiration behind the aesthetic was realistically the first thing that consumer sees or recognizes when you're in the hair care aisle is, what do I like? And what is the best looking package? Because in order to get that consumer to try your stuff, they have to want to try it. Right? They have to be interested in how it looks. So we uh, we worked with a very great design group on you know researching what the most popular colors were, what the perfect blend of combinations of color were as well, and spent a couple years you know going back and forth to make sure that you know these are the colors that we can see being around for the next X amount of years, and making sure that what we're bringing to the market is on trend. They're great colors um, and, and in a great, unique package as well. Um, and a little bit more to touch on that sustainability piece. You know, our, our bottles are made of up to 65% recycled material. Now, there's brands out there who, you know, really focus on that. And that's something to touch back to the sustainability piece that, you know, today we're 65%, but tomorrow we could be higher and higher and higher. And as dad said, it's something you make a conscious effort to look into. So creating a beautiful package, um, you know, but also keeping in mind the sustainability piece of that recyclable material. So we have two minutes left. I could talk to you guys forever because your, your story is so interesting. But uh, I want to touch on a very important piece of the puzzle, which is family. So, Tom, as a family founded and multi-generational run team, how do you navigate the dynamics of working together professionally, but also maintaining a strong personal bond? Because I'm sure there's moments where, it, it, you know, the two of you don't see eye to eye. Uh, you know, Zen, honestly, like Mikey said from the very beginning, uh, Mikey and I have always been really close. I mean, we literally do everything together. We talk multiple times a day if we're not in the office. Um, but we we really don't have that kind of an issue. I mean, I try myself, because I've been in the business for 40 years, I try myself to make sure that I always listen to what Mike's opinion is and not try to drive the business because I have the experience. Um, you know, so I think that really helps is making sure that, you know, I hear what Mike has to say. I would also have to say that Mike's incredibly, is, is far beyond his years from a business standpoint. And I think that's something that you're just naturally born with. Um, Mike only has to hear something one time. Um, so he's really good at, at picking things up quickly. And other than that, I think just the fact that we are who we are, you know, that we just mesh really well together as a team. We always have. I don't, I don't think it changes because you're in business, you know, one day and it changes the dynamics of being a father and son. I just, I think it just continues to flow on. Wow, this has been a fantastic interview. I can't thank the both of you for for coming. It was it was so inspiring to see your relationship, to see what you've built and how you've built it. It's clear and it's evident that family and love and respect is at the heart of it all and hard work and passion. And I always say to my daughter, uh, who's eight and a half and my my other daughter's stepdaughter's twenty one, she's graduating from the University of Georgia. I'm like, girls, Find anything you're good at, you're passionate about, just stick with it. Become an expert at it, but find that one passion that will drive you. And uh, and I think that has gone a long way with Mike. So thank you so both so much for coming sure. here today. Good advice. Thanks for having us. Yeah, in. thank you for having really us. Enjoyed it. This has been really enjoyable. That was our Trailblazer segment brought to you by Metropolitan Lifestyles right here at iHeart Headquarters. That was the beauty family founded multi-generational team headed by father, son, duo Tom and Mike Redman. You have to directly go to their website and check out the coolest products, the most incredible designs at V and CoBeauty.com, but you can get their products at exclusively these two retailers, Walmart.com and Target.com. Head directly on the gram to check out some really cool behind the scene footage of this interview and of all of the other other testimonials that people are talking about about this product head directly on the ground at v and co beauty you're listening to a moment of zen right here on 710 wor the voice of new york iHeartRadio. radio we'll be right back after this